Hello. Hello everybody. Um, welcome. It has been a while since I've been on here. Probably a couple of months. So I'm super glad to be back. Um, and to uh, see you all. And um, so I just, a uh, quick update. I'm hoping if um, my babies will stay asleep <laughs> a little bit longer. As soon as I hop off of this scope, I'm gonna keep this pretty focused on the topic at hand. I'm hoping to jump, hop on um, my Facebook page on Facebook Live and just do a general update. Um, hold on. Um, just to do a general update a, about like what's been going on in life and life update and the state of the blog and everything. <laughs> um, so if you want to hop on over there, uh, facebook.com backslash super sweet life after this, um, go ahead and do so. That's a long, oh thank you, I'm so glad you love my blog. Um, as long as my babies will cooperate. <laughs> um, anyway, um, but really quick, um, where I have been, um, I've been on maternity leave for, uh, my baby is going to be six weeks old tomorrow night, so um, that's kind of where I've been. Um, you know, my blog is still getting posts. Um, you know, the posts are coming out, going out as scheduled. The newsletters are going out as they always have. Um, most of my social media, my Pinterest, my, um, yeah, maybe I'll give you a peek at the baby. He's sleeping, like, at my feet. I use my feet to, um, he has, like, that little bouncy chair. <laughs> and, like, um, I did that with my daughter, too. She... Um, like it's a secret for getting work done. You can bounce the chair with your foot while you work on the laptop. So yeah, that's a practical tip if you're planning to take maternity leave. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of where I've been. Plus we moved um, practically half, about 800 miles away from our home about um, two weeks ago. So um, we've been pretty busy and I haven't been doing a lot um, of work. I mean, when I say I haven't been doing a lot, like probably six hours a week <laughs> tops so I've been really not doing a lot but um, I think you know you might not even notice it because I prepared for my leave um, as best I could so that I didn't just like disappear from the blogosphere and from the online world for long periods of time which probably um, would not do too much to help my business so I kind of wanted to share some of my advice if you're also um, a blogger, an online business order, uh, business owner of how you can take a leave um, without killing your business. Um, and this would apply whether you're gonna need to take a maternity leave like I have. I've done that twice since I started my business when I had my daughter who's almost two and when I had my son who's um, almost six weeks. Or whether, I know a lot of bloggers in the summer with older kids want to take time off and spend a lot more time with them during the summer or maybe you just want to travel or maybe you just feel like you need a real break. So whatever the reason for your break, here's a little bit of advice that I have. Um, so first of all, I don't think there's like a right and a wrong way to, to take a leave. <laughs> um, there's no magic way to um, make it, you know, to set everything up. There's no... Uh, magic formula it's gonna look different for everybody um, and it looked very very different for me um, when I took maternity leave with my daughter um, almost two years ago because my business was and me personally was in a very different place so we're gonna start with um, two years ago my business was about a year and a half old um, I was making enough money at the time to justify spending um, several hours a week on it but uh, we weren't dependent on that income in any way. Um, I didn't know where the business was going. I didn't know for sure that I'd even uh, be in business um, two or three years later. Um, I didn't at that time have plans to get any childcare while I took care of the business, so it was just going to be a side, you know, nap time kind of thing. Um, little did I know my daughter wasn't going to take naps until she was like over a year old. <laughs> um, so that plan went out the window. But um, so that was kind of where I was at. So I wanted to keep things going because I'd worked pretty hard that past year and a half and it was just starting like in the three or four months before she was born um, it was really starting to pick up some traction. I'd gone for you know and I've talked about this many times if you follow me in my vlog at all um, you can go to iheartplanners.com backslash entrepreneur sign up for the top five things I learned my first couple years in business and I kind of talk all about this but how it was a ton of work in the beginning for very little results um, and I wasn't getting a lot of traction until 
I've been do at it for like a year or so and so I was just starting to get traction I thought well maybe this could really go somewhere so I really don't want to just like completely you know I wanted to take a real maternity leave I didn't think it was gonna have much of a chance to work and I didn't I definitely didn't want the pressure to need to be getting certain things done for the blog you know while my daughter was two weeks old or something I wanted the ability to take a full maternity leave if that's what I wanted to do but I just didn't want to abandon it completely. So what I did was I prepared like crazy. And at the time I was able to do so because I had no kids and um, no other job. So I just worked like crazy <laughs> um, and got as much done ahead of time as I could. And that was extremely useful. So I got several weeks ahead on blog posts. At that time, I had no one else. I mean, it was all, I was a solopreneur. No one else was working for me. I couldn't really afford to hire uh, much in the way of help. So. It was just me running my business, so I got everything pre-scheduled, you know, like on um, WordPress or whatever platform you can probably like actually schedule the post to go live. I scheduled out my newsletters, um, so like if I literally like never logged in, never touched a computer for eight weeks, everything would have still been happening. Um, so prepping ahead of time is huge. <laughs> um, then once, and I sold as much as I could before then. Um, I had physical products in my shop and I put those all on, I no longer have physical products that I have to mail out, I only have digitals, but I um, put a notice in there saying that um, it would take up to six weeks to ship and I put that like everywhere, you know, of course the processing time I was on Etsy at the time. Um, notices like huge notices everywhere so if I didn't want to take my products off of Etsy and if you are on Etsy um, you know that putting your shop in a true vacation mode or taking your products out can really hurt you in search um, when you come back you won't be as high up and so I didn't want to do that so I just wanted to be clear that I really mostly didn't care if people ordered products or not I just wanted I didn't want to hurt my um, results in search if I wanted to come back and continue to sell those products. So that's what I did um, on my first leave. And I was surprised when I, um, when my daughter was born that I still wanted to work. <laughs> um, I just did not have any desire, like I thought I might, like I had no idea. I'd never been a mom before and I wanted the freedom. And I think that's one of the you know reasons a lot of people want to start their own business. I wanted the freedom to not have to work at all if that isn't what I wanted to do. Um, but I had no idea what to expect and um, I actually enjoyed working some and um, I had, you know, um, the first couple weeks she napped and I would work some um, and after that even, you know, if she would nap at all or I would put her in her little bouncy seat um, with my foot and she'd be happy for maybe the first 20 minutes after she woke up, I had to hold her for all of her naps because she didn't nap um, any other way and I wasn't that great at baby wearing at the time. Um, I think if I'd been better, I would have gotten a ton more done. But it wasn't really about getting stuff done for me in the business. It was just because it was something I enjoyed and something normal that I could do. And it was really hard, at least for me, um, to do much other stuff um, when she was with, with her to like get housework and things done because she was a pretty um, baby who needed a lot of attention. So she would not nap or sleep um, for more than five minutes like outside of my arms. Um, so I would just sit down for a couple hours and hold her for a nap. Um, you know, so she needed me a lot, and so it was really hard to get anything else done. But um, when I would hold her for a couple hours, she would wake up, and she'd usually be happy for like 20 or 30 minutes in her bouncing seat if I bounced her with my foot, and I could actually sit down and feel like I was getting something done, you know, at the computer. So um, it looks different for everyone, but it's okay if you plan to take a leave and you actually want to work some. And I think sometimes, like, taking the pressure off and, like, giving yourself the freedom, you don't have to work at all, but you can if you want to. Um, at least um, for me, you know, you kind of feel refreshed and sometimes you find yourself coming up with good ideas or being able to work on like little fun side projects that maybe you hadn't been able to work on as much. Um, so that's where my business was um, when I took a leave with my daughter. And um, with my son who I just had five weeks ago, um, things look very different. The business is in a very different place. Um, there's a lot more stuff going on in the business now. Um, it's now more a part of our lives. I know I'm going to stick with it. We are dependent on the income. Um, so it's just a very different situation. Um, and so, and I also, one other thing that's very different in this situation, 
um, is that I now have some virtual assistants who work with me. And so that kind of changes things and it really um, in some ways makes things a lot easier. Um, so if you're in that place, um, it might look different. So for example, while I kind of had this idea that I was going to get a ton of posts pre-written, I didn't. <laughs> that did not happen. Um, I had a lot of other things going on in the business. I did work really hard for a season. Um, you know, the first, really January through probably May was pretty intense business-wise, um, which was great. I mean, not only did I get a lot of things produced, a lot of things done in a focused manner, but I also generated a lot of revenue that is writing me out, you know, that can help me weather a period of lower revenue. Um, so if you have the ability to do that, definitely do. And then as far as keeping my posts and social media and things going, um, I got, you know, a couple weeks ahead. I have a lot, I asked, I handpicked guest posters, um, so I just sent emails to people. I don't like putting out general calls because you get all sorts of things that maybe, maybe aren't a great fit for the blog. So I just sent emails to people and said, hey, would you like to guest post? And all but like one person said yes. So most weeks, you know, I think I have eight to ten guest posts um, going out and then um, I've done a couple roundup posts and just a couple um, posts that I wrote kind of sprinkled out through there. And then I also do my entrepreneur posts on my blog each week. I write those, but it only takes like 30 minutes to an hour. This is going to be turned into one actually um, for me to write it. And then my assistant takes it from there, creates all the graphics, formats it, all that stuff. So for that reason, I didn't need to be as far ahead. And my assistant, um, they don't necessarily want to take maternity leave. I mean, they don't need to take maternity leave. So it's important to keep them um, busy as well. As well. Um, so for that reason, I don't really need to be as far ahead. Um, and um, so that that's kind of what has worked for me um, right now. Um, so that would be most of my advice for um, taking a leave and also just realize if you're going to take a leave you're not going to be able to take um, there's a lot of opportunities you're going to have to say no to um, that's really true in, in any time but especially in those those particular times you're going to have to say no to a lot of things and that's okay um, you know just accepting that that's okay. Um, there'll be a time again when you can say yes to more things. Um, just kind of accepting that and getting that in your head, at least um, for me, has been really helpful. Um, because it's easy to compare and look at somebody else and say, oh my goodness, like they're doing all these cool things. Or I, at least me, I'm an idea person, so I constantly have a new idea of something I'm going to try. And sometimes even in these seasons of really stepping back a lot, um, it just gives you the freedom to like get out, experience life, and you really come up with even more ideas. Um, I just write them down and say like, I cannot chase that right now. Um, it'll be there for me when I come back. If that's really an idea that I want to pursue, I can, but I can't, you know, I have to say no to a lot more things and that's okay. And it also means that I won't be growing my business as fast as I would have otherwise but that's okay I have like other really important things I wanted to do and at least for me you know I wanted this business so that um, I had flexibility and freedom and um, so um, I need to be okay with slowing down um, so anyway I hope that advice helps you um, let me know um, if you've taken a leave in your business and if you have any advice or um, ideas on how to make that leave successful, how to make it to where you don't really, you know, have to worry about your business when you're on leave and um, make it to where it doesn't hurt your business too much because, you know, we've worked really hard on our businesses and we don't want to just go on a leave and watch, you know, all of our followers forget about us and things like that. So if you have any advice, definitely um, shoot me an email, iheartplanners at gmail.com and um, let me know your thoughts. Thanks.